Let's take a look at fractions. Now, one really important skill is converting a fraction into an equivalent fraction. Um, and you need to know this because this is a skill that is used quite commonly when you are adding and subtracting fractions. So two fifths is the equivalent to how many tenths? So what we need to be thinking is, well, what do you do to turn a five into a 10? Well, you double it, you multiply it by two. So for an equivalent fraction, we need to do the same to the top as well. So we need to double that as well. Four tenths, two fifths is the same as four tenths. Um, so these have the same value. One is not bigger than the other. Four tenths is exactly the same size as two fifths. If you were to carve out two fifths of a pizza and four tenths of a, a second pizza, you would see it's the same amount of pizza. Think of it this way. If you're playing basketball and you score twice, from five attempts, you would probably expect to score four times if you had 10 attempts because you're having twice as many attempts. So you'd probably score twice as many times. Let's have a look at three eighths into fortieths. So what do you do to turn an eight into a 40? You multiply by five. So we need to multiply the top by five as well. Three fives are 15. Sixes into 24. Again, if you're not good with your tables, just write them out. Six. 12, 18, 24, so that's one, two, three, four, so that's times by four. A lot of people make the mistake of writing four in as the top number, which is wrong. Uh, so what we need to do is multiply this number by four, and four fives are 20. So five sixths is the equivalent to 20 24ths. So the opposite of equivalent fractions is simplifying fractions. Um, you might write, you might work out that the answer to a question is six out of 20, and that might not be wrong, but it, there's a better way of writing it because you can simplify this fraction. What we're, what we're doing with simpl simplifying fractions is just thinking, can both numbers be divided by another number? So six, 20 are both even numbers. So we can definitely divide the top and the bottom by two. So half of six is three, half of 20 is 10. So three tenths and three tenths I can't think of any number that we can divide both three and 10 by. So for simplifying fractions, a lot of it is simply times tables recognition. 30 out of 50, hopefully, hopefully you've recognized they're in the tens. Divide both of them by 10. In other words, just chop off a zero, three fifths. Now I know some people will probably think, oh, they're even numbers, divide them by two, 15 over 25 and now recognize that they're both in the five times table, divide both by five, 15 divided by five is three, 25 divided by five is five. But it, those calculations involved a little bit of thought twice. How easy was it just to chop off a zero? So if it's obviously in the tens, just chop off a zero, top and bottom, a very quick way to simplify it. So 30 out of 50 is the same as three fifths. 32 out of 40, it depends how good your times tables are. You might find it safer just to divide by two. Both are even, so they can both be divided by two, 16, 20. We can divide by two again, eight and 10, and by two again, four, five. So 32 fortieths simplifies to four fifths. Now, although it took one, two, three attempts to get there, every, every step was simple, it was dividing by two. So don't worry about what is the biggest number that you can divide 32 and 40 by. Um, the answer is in fact, you could, you could have divided both by eight. 32 divided by eight is four, 40 divided by eight is five. But why put yourself through that level of uh, thinking? Just keep it simple. What is, what is for you the most obvious way to divide both of the numbers at the same time? For most people I know, that would be just dividing them by two, maybe by four, but are you confident doing 32 divided by four? I reckon it's a lot easier dividing it by two, by two again, and by two again. 15 over 35, hopefully we can simply spot that these are in the five times table. So 15 divided by five is three, 35 divided by five is seven. So that simplifies to three sevenths. So, so far we've seen that if they're in the 10 times table, very easy to spot. The 15, sorry, the five times table, quite easy to spot as well. And if they're even numbers, then it's quite obvious they're in the two times table. This next example there, we can again, just 
divide by 10, divide by 10 again. In other words, we've just divided top and bottom by 100, or we've just chopped off some zeros top and bottom um, and the same number of zeros top and bottom, so that simplifies to two thirds. Now this next fraction, definitely not in the tens, definitely not in the fives, and I can't divide 21 by two. So if two doesn't work, well, how about I try three as the next number? And 18 can be divided by three. 18 divided by three is six. 21 divided by three is seven. 42 and 49. So they're not in the tens, they're not in the fives. 49 is not in the twos. And I don't think, note three won't work either. So what will I try next? Well, there's no point in trying four because if they can be divided by four, then they could have been divided by two. So that's a waste of time. With We think we would have spotted five straight away. Six, well, if anything that can be divided by six can also be divided by two and also by three. So that would be a waste of time. So let's look at seven. So if it's not a 10, a five or a two, try three. And then the next number would be seven. And then the next number after that would be 11. Basically, you're just looking for the odd numbers, prime numbers. Um, but you probably don't need to be worrying more than uh, 11, to be honest. E even that might be a bit extreme. Um, they're not going to be that nasty. So just think, if it's not in the tens, the numbers are not in the 10 times table, the five times table, or the two times table, try three, try seven, try 11. Now, these ones can be divided by seven. 42 divided by seven is six. 49 divided by seven is seven. Bit nasty, that one. And this next one, we can't divide by 10 or by five or by two. That's fairly obvious. 88 can't be divided by three. They're not in the seven times table. So let's try 11. And oh yeah, it's kind of obvious they're in the 11s because the 11 times table is quite nice, isn't it? 33 divided by 11 is three. 88 divided by 11 is eight. So the answer is three eighths. Let's look at fractions of amounts. Now, some of them are gonna be very easy. Half of 30, well, that's 15. Half of 42, 21. What you've done there is you have divided the total by the number on the bottom. So 30, a third of 30 is the same as 30 divided by three, which is 10. One fifth of 55 is 55 divided by five, which is 11. A tenth of 430 is 430 divided by 10. Chop off that zero, 43. One hundredth of 3,000 is 3,000 divided by 100. Just chop off two zeros. The answer is 30. So all we're doing is we're dividing by the bottom number here. Now, when you've got two thirds or four fifths, what we need to do is we need to divide by the number on the bottom and then multiply by the number on the top. So take our total 30, divide it by three is 10, and then multiply that number by two. So the answer is 20. Basically what we're doing here is we're working out, if, if we divide by three, we've worked out one third of 30. So if one third of 30 is 10, then two thirds of 30, it's going to be twice as much because two thirds is double one third. So it's going to be double 10, which is 20. But keep it simple. Just uh, you don't need to think of it in that complicated way. Just divide by the bottom number, multiply by the top number. So four fifths of 35 is 35 divided by five, which is seven. And then we're going to multiply that by the four. Seven times four, 28. Five sixths of 66 is 66 divided by six multiplied by five. 66 divided by six is 11. 11 times five is 55. And two sevenths of 28 is 28 divided by seven multiplied by two. 28 divided by seven is four. And four times two is eight.